Oh. See him in that? Just under the weed. There we go. Got him. And that's just a common frog. That's gonna be good to eat. Load of crabs, bit of frog. Jobs are good. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Turkey is the gateway to the Middle East. It's a tough country in a dangerous part of the world. We're nearing my drop zone at 15,000 foot. This is the upper limit that the helicopter can reach, and it's one of the highest jumps I've ever done. 2,000 foot, time to deploy. But look, there is a lake just down beneath me. And that's what I'm going to aim for. This is going to be tight. <laughs> I can feel I'm already starting to shiver. It's a sign I'm getting cold. So I want to get moving. The fastest way off a mountain is to look for signs of water. OK, that way. Where there's water, there's usually animals. Goats feed on this high ground. Here you go. There's an old goat carcass. Yeah, look. Man, absolutely stinks. This meat's pretty far gone. You know, I can't, I can't eat that. But there's loads of things you can do with animal skin. Animal hide is incredibly strong. It can be used for clothing or binding. Following a stream down towards the tree line should eventually link up with a bigger river. Well, this is a river I've been hearing, and now I've found this, I really want to stick with it and follow it downstream. I reckon the best thing I can do is actually make a raft and use that to fast track me out of the mountains. There's plenty of birch here. Not the best material, but it's flexible and buoyant. It'll do for making the frame. A couple of support beams, and it's ready to put the parachute skin on. The ghost skin I collected on the mountain will make a strong paddle. We'll jam this in here. OK, that's set. Well, this is floating all right. Oh, oh man, look, there's a raft taking a pounding at the bottom of the waterfall. One thing I can do is just improvise a really simple caving ladder. I've got some of this paracord still from the parachute. It's going to take a lot of my parachute cord, but using branches as steps, you can knock one of these up pretty quickly. I want to get down this and off as quickly as possible. The spray from the waterfall is making the ladder wet and slippery. OK, time to do this. Here we go. <laughs> the raft is stuck in an eddy and it's taken a pounding under the waterfall. Ooh. Man, this is not ideal. This is just... Oh, man, I'm just too heavy for this. It's got me through the rapids, but me and my raft have both taken a battering. Over. I'm finding a way down. OK, keep going. Let's go. It might not have been pretty, but I've made some good distance down the river. The rapids have taken up a lot of my energy. I want to find some food. This guy, and it's really just like a snail, but without a shell. Slugs are edible, but they're only safe to eat if they're cooked. OK, get that on there. Get these slugs. There you go. 
I don't have many slugs, but they will provide a small energy boost until I can stop and find more food. Squeeze the guts out, look. See all of that stuff there. There you go, that's the bit that probably going to contain the parasites if it's been feeding off something nasty. But the meat of them is going to have lots of good protein. And it doesn't look very appetising. Slug stew. It's going to give me a bit of energy. It's not much of a meal, but it's better than nothing. Very gooey. Very slimy, but good bit of energy and good bit of protein. <laughs> now I've entered a completely different environment. I'm heading into desolate, arid steppe. Man, the heat is punishing my already exhausted body. This can help me. I've actually had diarrhoea for most of the day, and this little plant is actually going to be good for wiping my backside with. The reason it's good, look, it's really soft. And the reason it's like that is actually it's got these tiny little hairs all over it. It means it will lose the least amount of moisture. But what I'm interested in is what it can do for me when I need to go, which I have a feeling is imminent again. <laughs> As it gets dark, I'm going to keep moving. I want to use the cool of the night to conserve my energy. And this way, you'll sweat less. Oh, it's lost all of the light now. I'm just going to switch this over to night vision. There you go, it's working. I'm going to set some traps for rodents or small reptiles. This actually wouldn't be a bad place to set a trap. <laughs> I'm trying to set this bit by touch. Ah, that's all! So hopefully that might well get something. The more traps you set, the more chance you stand at catching something. But I've had it. I need to get into a shelter and get some rest. Uh, let's get myself in here. Let's bring this last bit up from inside. Jump finish. Passes the camera. That's it. To be honest, I'm so tired, I just want to curl up and sleep now. Long day. I've spent the night under a rock on the barren steppe of the Anatolian Plateau. Man, I went out like a, like a light last night. OK, go and check these traps. Here we go, so he's got something. I don't want to lift this up and him get away. Oh, look, like he's still alive. Little lizard. Sugar. Let's take him, and that's breakfast. Reptile meat is rich in protein, just what you need to recover your strength. That's a proper Turkish kebab. Ready. Mm. Man, he's tough. It's like eating old shoes. But this food is all well and good, but really, to digest it, your body needs water. And out here, if you can't find water, you're in bad shape. That's why people die. Severe dehydration starves your brain of blood. You go into a coma and will eventually die. Without water, you need to find a way out while you still have the strength. I've reached the edge of the arid moonscape and nature has finally given me a break. In the harsh extremes of arid steppe, a freak rainstorm is welcome relief. Temperatures plummet, now's your chance to cool off and rehydrate. The surface of this salt pan offers an ideal way to collect the fresh rainwater. Get my coat out and use that and let the rain 
fill that up. That's pretty well filled up now. And it's fresh. Improvised, but it worked. And this time nature's been working on my side. Okay, let's get moving. And survival is so important just to never give up. You never know when that break's gonna come. You just gotta keep moving, keep waiting for it. It will come. Percent of your body heat is lost through your head. <laughs> <laughs> 